If you want to see me create my first look using the winning quad for quad of the month for June, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen, and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I am super excited to do a look on camera because it's something that I have not done for quite a while. I mean, quite a while. If you miss seeing me apply makeup on camera, just leave me a comment, please, uh, to that effect. I don't know if uh, it's a favorite type of video or not at this point, and I would really appreciate knowing your thoughts so that I can just decide uh, more on what type of content that I, uh, I do on this channel. So the background, uh, so thank you in advance. So the background on uh, the quad of the month is that for the longest time, I just set up some quads and basically said which quad was the quad of the month. Well, I've decided to turn that over to, uh, to you, my viewers, occasional regular, uh, to vote in my community tab on the quad of the month that is um, uh, most desired. And this past month, there was a tie, a two-way tie between two quads. And I decided that instead of doing a tiebreaker, I would just pick which quad out of the two that I felt would be better for June and better for July. So I decided that based on these two quads, which are the, new, the, the, the winners, quad number four and quad number five, that I would choose quad number four for June and go with this quad for July. Somehow it just feels like more July colors and this one feels more like June colors to me. I mean, it would be probably more toward fall, but it does feel uh, relatively June-like because there are a lot of very beautiful uh, yellow and um, kind of uh, orangey color flowers that uh, come out in the flower beds this time of year. And of course, green. Uh, June in Winnipeg here where I live is a very green month. Everything is very lush. Everything is growing. It's looking great. So I just feel like this is an appropriate quad for June. Uh, there will be another video if it hasn't gone up yet with the swatches for this quad. But uh, today we're going to focus purely on doing a first look. What I have done in the past is uh, do one eye and the other eye on off camera, pardon me, and that's what I think I'll do. If you are curious to know what is on my eyes already, I did use this Essence 2-in-1 Shadow Stick. What is it called? Uh, shadow and Liner Waterproof Stick as my primer on my eyes. And then I used uh, my pan that palette. For those of you following my pan that palette, I just dropped it and I lost most of the shadows. It's all over the floor. I'm not going to try to save it. It looks like I have three, four, five, six shadows left. The rest is on the floor. So yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. Actually, I feel awful about this. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to park it. I'm going to sweep the floor and wash it a little bit and we'll continue on with this video. Well, I, I did manage to clean up uh, this palette and I have six shadows left basically out of the, uh, the palette. Most of what I repressed has not survived. I'm very pleased that the two Buxom Highlighter uh, Franken shadows survived and I have a little bit of the taupe left. Uh, and yeah, I'm just going to use what is left and It is what it is, and I'll uh, I'll reweigh it with the new weight, obviously, and and just see how much uh, how much more I can use. But you know what, things happen. So with all that drama aside, <laughs> let's get back to this look. I am looking forward to using this quad, and I just got nervous about dropping that too. Whew. 
Uh, I'm going to go in with, I think I feel like doing a green look today. So I'm going to go in with this green matte, which is not noted on the back, I'm not sure why. Um, so let's just take a look at what that is. I'm so nervous about dropping any shadows now. Okay, so I have the name for this one, but then I, I gouged it with my spatula. I'm not having a good day. Uh, it is called Fickle from the 39A from Morphe, the Dare to Create. I should remember that shadow because I quite, I think it's quite neat. Okay, let's go in with this brush. And I'm going to use my usual trusty Tarte uh, palette mirror for this. Okay, in we go with Fickle with this uh, Quo brush. It's a very fluffy crease brush and we'll see how it goes. And again, I'm going to do one eye and then the other eye off camera. Let's see how this goes. It's uh, very deep in the pan, but it being a matte, it builds up relatively nicely and I have my gardening hair on today because I was out weeding before coming in to do this video. Yeah, that's looking okay. I'm just going to put a little bit more right here. And I'll go in with a denser brush for the outer lid. Okay, and with the remainder that is on my brush, I'm going to go into the inner brow. I like doing that. It just tends to soften up the inner part of the eye, and I, I, I'm quite partial to it. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to switch brushes as I do one last little detail. I'm going to go in with this angled brush, which I really like, and I'm going to just put it on, put the, the uh, color on one side of the brush and just go on the lower outer lid or outer lower lid. I have a random eyelash. It's gone rogue. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we have the green and I'm kind of, you know what, I want to deepen up the green on the outer upper lid. And to do that, I'm going to use my Smashbox uh, brush, which is the, is it the precision brush? I can never remember. Full coverage brush. Again, back into Fickle. I do like that name that Morphe chose for that shadow. Fickle is just a neat name. I've had that shadow for three years now. The Dare to Create is one that I've had for quite a while. Maybe going almost four years. It's been a while. Okay, that is looking really nice. And where is my, that fluffy brush I had? I'm going to make sure that it's even all around. And now for the inner lid, I kind of want to go, I want to go bold. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this yellow from Touch of Glam and go from there. And that yellow is called uh, Cleopatra's Crown and it's part of the Vivids collection. So I think I'm going to do the yellow right in here and possibly go in with this kind of bronzy color on the center lid. And that bronzy color is called Toucan from Colored Rain, and that's from the Safari collection. Okay, so I'm going to go in with that really bright gold color. And for that, I'm going to use my Multitasker brush from Smashbox, my absolute favorite brush, pretty much out of my whole brush collection. I'm going to go right into the very inner corner of the eye, and it's not picking up as much as I thought it would. A 
Oh, that's chunky. Okay, there we go. I think I have to go in with the finger. It's not, it's not going on all that well. And I usually really love to, oh, there we go. Touch of glam shadows. So I guess finger application on this one. And I'll have some cleanup to do because I went kind of crazy with the thickness of the shadow because I wanted to make sure it showed up. And boy, is it ever. I was worried the vivids wouldn't show up. Hmm, kind of weird. My bad. Okay, so apart from a little cleanup on the uh, lower inner lid, I think that that is pretty good. And I think it's going to support well uh, that bronzy color toucan on the center lid. So let's do that right now. Oh yeah. That is pretty. I, I really like that. That's really quite pretty. Okay, so I'm going to recreate what I've done here on the other eye, and then we'll finish up the look. Okay, second eye is done, and we are ready to finish up the look, the Royal Lee. But I feel like I need a do-over day. So first there's the palette. And then there's this. I was going to use my fly liner today from Fenty Beauty and somehow the cap got loose. And they, they're on pretty well, so I'm not sure what happened. But it is completely dry. I am so, I'm so bummed. I'm really, really bummed about this. And it was nowhere near dry. Uh, I am hoping I'm not going to end up with a three for three and I just jinx myself. We'll see. Now, with both eyes done, and I did do something extra, I did bring Toucan a little bit out on both eyes. I just felt like it was, it was nicer that way. And I do want to take Fickle and put it as liner all along the lower lash line. So I'll do that right now. Using my nice little uh, precision smudger from um, Smashbox. I do really quite like Smashbox brushes. Sorry, I'm looking for my uh, mirror here. So I've got it loaded and let's go along the lower lash line to deepen up that lash line. So what a day it has been so far. Holy cow. And I had um, an exam yesterday and not a typical exam, not a, not a school type exam. I uh, applied for a job and there's a research component to the job. And um, it was a uh, two-hour research exam, and I did feel like I was back in university because it was quite a, um, that looks nice, right? It was quite a, a, a demanding exercise, and there was absolutely no way, and they did say that in the instructions that there was no way to finish. Uh, but I was really confused about the information tables of information they provided as the source, uh, as an idea of the type of data that we might be looking for to answer the, the problem that they were suggesting that we needed to research and provide recommendations for. I didn't see how the information they provided could possibly lead to the formulation of recommendation I couldn't understand. So that left me puzzled uh, yesterday along with a few other things in life and um, yeah I'm just glad to be done with that and and back on camera. Have you ever, have you ever done that? Done a, a test or an exam and you walk away kind of going, what was that? If you have, uh, can you share your story? In the comments, I would love to hear. I can't be alone. 
I can't be alone in this. Okay, and my camera is telling me I need to change the battery, so I'll do that, and we will proceed with mascara and liner. Okay, battery changed, and we're good to keep going. I am going to, I think, use the Lise Watier, which is a liner I've been using for a while, and I think it's going to start drying out on me as well, so that's the theme for today. <laughs> and I'm going to see how it's going today. So I guess I've had two weird days in a row that test or examination yesterday. And now the the palette. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Oh, you know what? I don't have enough of the gold or yellow on that side. Let me just fix that. Somehow I didn't use my uh, my brush, my multi tusker brush, to put enough of that Cleopatra's crown from Touch of Glam. On the very inner lid, I'm glad I noticed that. Okay. There we go. Back to the liner. Yeah, I don't, maybe I'm lucky, I don't seem to have that many situations in life where I kind of go, what the heck just happened? But I have to say that the month of May and June this year have given me way too many of those situations. I I'm good, I'm good for the year. I don't want any more. <laughs> um, and I even hope that a couple of them reverse themselves because they they suck. That's the word I'm going to use. They suck. Okay, so I have the liner on. That was loud. I have the liner on and now I need to do mascara. And I'm feeling like I should try something new today. What the heck? I am going to try this mascara from uh, Dior, I think. Lancome. <laughs> I'm looking around, I'm thinking it's Christian Dior for Lidl. And no, it's Lancome. All right, so let's take a look at, this is a sample size mascara. Let's take a look at the brush. I think it's a curved brush if I remember right, yeah. So let's give that mascara a try mirror, trusty mirror. All right, let's see what it's like. Well, I'm a volume girl and I am not seeing a whole lot of volume right now. It defines the lashes really nicely. Uh, I always get mascara on the outside of my nose. Okay, we'll definitely be doing two coats. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm getting mascara everywhere. If you feel like a klutz, you can feel good today just watching me try to uh, put on mascara. This wand is very prickly. It's a plastic wand for sure. If you're scared of poking yourself in the eye, this might not be a very nice wand. It's quite aggressive actually. Makes me think of the Elizabeth Arden mascara. Grand Entrance, I think it's called. It's the red tube. That one I can't use. I, I end up poking myself in the eye and it's uh, it's not fun. It's dangerous for me, for my eye shape, for how I apply mascara, it's dangerous. I don't, if I get one in a holiday set, I just pass it on to a friend who, uh, who doesn't mind using it. And obviously he's not worried about um, her eyes because she applies mascara differently. Oh, 
always amazes me how a same product someone can hate and someone else can absolutely love. Okay, that looks good, except for my smudges that I'll have to clean up. But of course, if you know about mascara smudges, you need to let it dry before you go and try to uh, wipe off uh, anything that is um, kind of not supposed to be there. And I'm noticing that I have foundation missing around my nose, so I will fix that. And if you're curious to know what is on my face other than the eye look that we were just working on, uh, Royal We, then you can always, well, not always, usually find all that information in the description box. So please look in the description box and you can see everything that I've been using before and during the time on camera. I'm doing a fantastic job with the foundation. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm getting really close to the camera. It's quite blotchy. It's not the best foundation ever, for sure. I'm just losing eyelashes today. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So we have all of it done, I think. I just need to get rid of the mascara. I have a Q-tip. Let's see if I can do this easily. Okay, that came off pretty easily. And how about this? Yes, but it did take some of my makeup away, so I'm just going to go into a light beige. Oh, way too light. Okay, wrong. I'm going to go into this one. It's kind of a sort of a skin color. Let's see if it sort of matches both sides. Okay, I think that'll do. There we go. All right, so what's missing is setting spray. I'm just going to reapply what's on my lips. I'm not going to change the lip color. And it is a lip gloss that I'm almost done with, which is super nice. So spoiler alert for my advent calendar. There we go. Just trying to even up my foundation along my lips there. Okay, so um, setting spray and then we're done. Setting spray is done and I'm just going to dry it just a little bit. And it is the All Nighter Setting Spray from Urban Decay, uh, which I did say in my Shoppers Drug Mart Advent uh, Calendar series, which I'll put right there, that latest uh, video, that I would be using the All Nighter Setting Spray all month, and indeed I am. So pretty happy about that. Um, I like the look. This quad out of five quads was the was tied for first place, and I think it's a very very nice combo. I think it's. It is sort of fall colors, but I think that this look is very summery. It's very bright, especially with the, the Vivid's uh, Cleopatra's crown on the inner two center lid. I think it looks really good. Toucan on the center lid looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with this look. I'm really happy with this look. The, uh, the green matte fickle from the 39A Dare to Create from Morphe looks pretty good too. I think it's a, I think it's a nice uh, overall outcome. Let me know what you think of um, this look, and if you have any requests for the colors in this quad, please let me know. Not only the color, but also the placement. So we have Cleopatra's crown, the uh, toucan from Colored Rain, Fickle from Morphe, and this last one is Clay from um, Colored Rain. So this one is from Colored Rain, this one is from Colored Rain, Touch of Glam, and Morphe. There we go. So we have all four of those figured out. And yeah, let me know what you'd like to see for another look. Um, 
and we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. You know that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.